Hey guys, it's been a while since I posted a video, but I'd just like to chime in on uh, some of the uh, noise going on here uh, in, in the media of late and news agencies about the war in Ukraine, which of course is a abstained uh, fact to any kind of human rights activist stance and all of these various things that do need to be considered and should be rightfully so. Our government has taken the right approach to back human right activism in these things. Uh, I mean, you can't discredit that, but it's good to understand the backstory of what's going on with these, with these affairs, as many people may or may not know, but may be in a position to say or not, uh, along with myself. <laughs> but uh, we need to look at ties of recent government affairs going on in, you know, let's say, for example, the United States to Canada uh, or in, in Russia in, in the past five years of ties and lews and things that have gone on in our nation that have cost us uh, in you know terms of natural resources or things that could be produced here domestically. The reason I say that, uh, we get most of our oil and gas produced now <coughs> in Russia and from Saudi uh, at reduced costs when we were producing some of it here, uh, but we had issues with you know regulations, increased costs, and we also had the people who produce it here, our private sector, left us, our government, on the hook, don't forget, for a $5 billion bill of a private pipeline that they were building and they never finished. Uh, so all of these things kind of add up and it's really left us high and dry, especially those in, in the West. And they could speak to that, like a Jason Kenney would probably know because he's had to back that up so, so, so much. Um, so yeah, it's good to consider that, right? So uh, what's the front? What's going on here? There's so many stuff in the media, and I mean, there could be anything really going on if you want to uh, divulge everything. But there's a war masking what's going on, and we're seeing an increase in gas prices at the pump. Uh, and I drive an e-car, so I mean, I have my, my own issues with different things and energy and battery storage and the technology's coming. I mean, that, this is the way of the future. But it's really affecting life for a lot of people here. And uh, sometimes we can get ups, you know, abstained or obscured by what is going on with a war and backing it, uh, which is great, and uh, taking the human rights stance and, and getting involved with NATO. Uh, but there's a lot going on behind the scenes as far as oligarchs, uh, oligarchs or <laughs> monopolies here, we would say, or rich privateers that are benefiting from a change in economies of investment going abroad and coming back, maybe. So after this recession and all these things kind of transpire, it would be very interesting to see what takes place as far as uh, oil and gas production. And if it does come back domestically to North America, uh, don't forget in Canada, we had to buy a $5 billion pipeline, right? We had to flip the bill for the private companies. It didn't make sense to produce it here because regulation was so expensive. Uh, and the boom happened. And after the boom, we were left with the loom which means uh, we were left with uh, you know, the bill of covering that, that pipeline that was built and uh, never finished actually, and uh, with uh, the recession that happened in the West. So in the future, just watch and be aware and, and understand that uh, you know, producing oil and gas here may come back to us in some sort of capacity. And if it does, will it actually be to our benefit or our chagrin, right? Short-term booms sometimes learn to long-term looms. We are making a change in our energy chance, uh, you know, resources here for the future. That will be a progressive path, for example. But it doesn't mean that uh, we don't need to have natural resources produced here or, you know, protect some of these various things because they are of use for us. But just watch how things are obscured and skewed for what's going on over in Eastern Europe now as fronts for other things that are taking place here. Uh, and just be aware of those who are profiteering from this significantly and uh, watch maybe a transfer and what happens in our economies here and in the future that if there is some boom or resuscitation of producing domestically, don't forget two or three years ago, it wasn't profitable. And the American government decided it wasn't profitable either. And they had ties with Russia in order to get it done and then sent over here and along with Saudi but that's really left Canada high and dry, and especially those in Alberta. I could speak to it, that if it ever did come back, maybe a benefit, maybe not. But uh, just remember those who are really benefiting from it. And don't get so mad at your government for prices at the oil pump. It might be go beyond uh, their capability. 
doing the right thing and taking the human rights standpoint, uh, maybe getting a little too involved too quick uh, with NATO on, on the human rights standpoint to understand some of these other things taking place. But uh, yes, let's see what happens with oil and gas in the future. Anyway, enjoy your day. Happy Sunday. I think I need a haircut. Bye. <laughs>